Why did I put my hair in braids last night? Shut up. YouTube channel or if it's your very first time here hi my name is Missa and today I'm gonna to be doing the catfish makeup transformation we're gonna go from this to this I saw an article in the Daily Mail with Shanex on it wet the pants and it's like catfish makeup transformation from this to this and I was like I have to do that because I look so rough when I wake up in the morning so that's a great one for me And I just thought I would throw on a lot of makeup on my face, cake it on as I say, and also try a black smoky eye because I'm really bad at them and I'm still bad at them. It doesn't look that great in real life, but hopefully from far away you're like, why Melissa, you've done a black smoky eye? Don't know. Um, we, we encounter some issues. <laughs> when don't we? These days when I'm putting makeup on, it honestly feels like I've lost the ability to put makeup on. So yeah, if you want to see that, see that journey with me then please do not go anywhere stay tuned and let's let's jump in now let's get sexy i'm gonna use my revlon candid concealer to prime my eyes i want to do something that i never ever 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 do which is a matte eye for one no sparkle and Probably a black smoky eye as opposed to any other kind of colour. And I'm really bad at these, so don't judge me. I might drag it out, so I'll take. I think I put a lot of concealer on. I love this concealer for priming my eyelids, by the way. It is so uncreasy on me, which is the weirdest thing. I mean, it does crease a pinch, but not a spot. Not, not, what's the word? Not a something, not a patch on any other concealer that I use to prime. So that's why I like it, even though it's not got the bestest coverage, it's got enough. I don't really have that much to cover up on my eyelids anyway, so. So I'm gonna use a palette that I really like. My brows look really warm. I think I used the wrong shade to give me brow. Anyway, gonna use a drugstore palette because I think that's good. And I always use my Soft Dust Nails Extra Spice. And I feel like other palettes, other drugstore palettes need need a time in the sun. So this is the Lottie London Twee It's like eight or nine pounds. It's fantastic. Trust me on that one. Where the f I'm gonna use my Morphe M514. It's not dirty, just stained. And I'm really bad at black smoky eyes, so that's not the brush I'm gonna use. So to begin this transformation, I'm gonna use my Morphe M506. It's really little. In fact, where's my M507? I should use that. Okay, this is not my M507, but it is the Crown C528. Very similar. Don't know what the price difference would be. I mean, this concealer like barely creases on me. And I'm gonna grab the shade Chiketarian, this one here, and just gonna map out my line. I want to have it like kind of smoked out and like up, to like really lift my eyes, if possible, but also not too much. It's probably just like that far. It will go further. Probably because I always lose control, just following my lower lash line. And then I'll just open my eyes fully and just kind of wiggle that around above my crease just so that it will be visible and then kind of like connect up the triangle. Please everyone pray and cross your fingers that this works. Oh, 
well not like dragged out and up kind of look where'd i put my m506 why would i put it away who is in charge around here I'll grab my M506 and I'll grab that same shade but I'll mix it with Porky. I feel attacked. And I'll just kind of start to blend that line of pinch to see, see what happens. Is what we're doing today. I just want to look like, I just want to look good with makeup on, if you know what I mean. I've not been able to do it for days and days and days, so I just wanna feel good and look sexy, you know? I've just taken that into the inner corner. I'm gonna go on with the Zoeva 227. I've kind of got that initial shape on. And just the shade Porky. And I'm just gonna really wiggle this around the edges. Especially at the top, like what happens at the bottom doesn't really matter because we can clean that up or whatever, but this topest partist most importantest. I think what I'll do as well is I'll only take it like to where my eyebrow ends and then once I have my foundation and base on I can extend it if I want to but so often I find that when I extend my eyeshadow before I've got my base on I really just struggle to blend around it and sometimes I can't get like my bronzer in the right place so I just might this time try not extending it prior to yeah putting on my base so like i've said i'm really scared of black eyeshadow not good at working with it but i think that's what we're gonna do next so i'm just gonna take a wee bit of concealer this is just maybelline fit me is it yeah fit me over the lid area because i want this black to really stick and be super pigmented. I'm just gonna blend this out, pinch. Okay, so I've got my nice tacky base back. I'm gonna pick up this Wet n Wild brush because it's flat and pick up no tea, no shade and pack this on my lid. I'm so nervous. I think the good thing is it isn't the world's best black eyeshadow so it's not like it's gonna be so pigmented I think that I can't possibly blend it so but I'm also not gonna take it anywhere above like my crease or my actual mobile eyelid okay now I'm going to take my Morphe M514, which again, isn't dirty, it's just really stained. And I'm going to take Hey Guys, and I'm going to start blending this in my crease. And attempt to blend this black edge. Attempt being the, the, the main word there. Okay, I feel like this is working. I feel like it's working. Maybe I should have used like a black eyeliner as a base, like a gel eyeliner. This is also, this deeper shade is gonna kind of wing out a bit, but I might use a smaller brush just to be a bit more precise. And then I'll just take that Zoeva 227 and Chikatarian mixed with Porky. More Porky than Chikatarian. And just wiggle that just to see if I'm on the right track here. Or if I need to wipe this off and start all over again. 
I do think I need to see the black higher than my lid because I think it's just like black and then nothing. Mm, okay, we need to take that black a bit higher, I feel. I'm gonna take this really scraggly, doesn't have a name, MSQ brush I got about 10 years ago on Amazon. It's horrible, but I think it'll be quite good for this. And then I'll pick up the black again. And I'm just gonna wiggle that more into my crease. This, cause this brush has like almost no bristles left. So I feel like it's just gonna be really good for softly putting a bit of that black a bit higher. Keep my eye open a little bit. I think that's starting to look better. It's just a pinch more hay, guys. It's kind of over the black that I've taken higher. I think I will need to use like a different black on the lid, maybe to finish off, just because I feel like it looks a little lackluster in real life. I don't know how it's coming off on camera. But it's just a little bit not as good as I want it to look. I'm going to take this blank canvas E25 big fat fluffy number and dip into porky and a bit literally. And then I'll just swish this just around. So I'll just copy that over and then I'll see where we need to be, but we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So I think I've done the same thing to this eye. I'm just hoping that this will like look super good when I've got all the rest of my makeup on. I'll use my original Crown C528. I'm gonna take that black. It's horrendously noisy outside. And I just want to kind of drag that out a little, just so this looks better. I think that looks a little bit better than there, which is just a bit like stark. I think it's something I can work on once I've got like my base on as well, because I think once I pull it out more, it will be better. But I do want to intensify the lid. I'm going to use my ABH Jet Eyeliner, just on that flat brush that I used the black shadow on. And I think I'll just press this over my lids just to make them as black as possible. So it's like super black. Will I be able to blend this? So much darker than that other eye, but I think I will set it with the black eyeshadow. There's like a speck of glitter on my lid. I didn't put it there on purpose. Right, let's move on to skin. And get that looking tip top. I think, we all think, that this foundation is not the right shade. Um, so I've already primed my forehead. I've used my the uh, Hylamide one, fills in your wrinkles. And then on my face, I'm going to use this Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer because it's absolutely tiny, and I don't think I've ever used it. I think this is the one Shanex all likes. Me. Might as well just give it a go. Probably put way too much on there. <laughs> that smells real nice. We will just continue to keep it drugstore. I know the ABH liner was not drugstore, but I don't have a black one. So just pretend I did use that and we'll say that this is purely drugstore. The rest will be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use my Conceal Define. Very excited for the hydrating one. Just, just to see what the formula's gonna be like. Like, I'm dying to see. I was chatting with Adam today from the guy that owns Makeup Revolution. I was like, can I, can I get some of that dewy one? 
to test. <laughs> So it's going to be posted and we're going to be able to try it out hopefully ahead of time and you know I've got a very high opinion of this one so I'm hoping I love that one maybe even more. I actually think F3 is a better shade for me than F4. Um, this is a bit pale but don't worry I'm going to use a powder and like bronzer and everything but I think F3 is actually my perfect shade but I always go to F4 because I'm like no that must be slightly darker but wow, this is really too pink for me. I wear this all the time. <laughs> What's happened to my face? <laughs> I'm going with with F5. Why have I lost the ability to put makeup on? Can someone just just explain that to me? This is just hilarious at this point. Because what I've not told you is that I went in with F3 over F4. I'm just gonna film it and I was like, now just tell them. And now I'm going in with F5, over F4, over F3. So if I don't have the most full coverage base, I'll be complaining to the authorities. Oh lord, that's so much better. I mean, we can rescue this, it's just you're going to sit there in the knowledge that I've got three layers of foundation on. I'm gonna put concealer on and then probably powder foundation to set this. Well, that's what three layers of foundation does. Don't need concealer. So I just need to set this, to be quite honest. So I use my Makeup Obsession Lace Powder just to bake underneath my eyes. Just get that whole area. This is such a lush powder by the way. And I'll use my Revolution Pro in F5 on the rest of my face. This is like Match Studio Fix dupe, but I don't know the main difference is. It's not got quite as much coverage, but also it's so what's the word? Um dusty and pan. Like if you just look at it, it gets dusty in the pan. I've not actually been that impressed by this powder. I was expecting to be blown away by this powder when I first used it, um, but I wasn't. So I've never really like featured it in a video because it's just kind of neither here nor there. It's fine. Right, let's add some colour to my ghostly awful skin. And I'm going to use L'Oreal Back to Bronze. I really like this bronzer. It's real nice. It's not super special, but it's nice. And I don't want to use a Makeup Revolution one because I don't want everything in this video to be Makeup Revolution. For no other reason than whenever I do like full drugstore videos, it's always, always Makeup Revolution. And we need some variety. I might actually need a deeper bronzer though. Because looking at this, it's not, not doing a whole lot. Do you know that Physician's Formula? is now on Feel Unique. And do you know that Essence is now on Just My Look? Facts, if you didn't know that, you're welcome. Maybelline City Bronzer in Medium Warm 250 because I think this is actually going to be a bit darker for me. Three foundations, two bronzers, there we go. That's adding a bit more warmth. How many highlights should I put on? I don't think I can put much more on without calling it a face powder, so we'll leave it there and put some contour on. I'm gonna use my next one. I know it's on the more expensive side, but again, I don't wanna use Makeup Revolution and I don't wanna use Sleek because I use that one every single time as well. So this is just the NYX Pro contour kit thing. Probably do this quite quietly because it's very noisy outside, as you're probably hearing.
Ooh, a bit heavy on the nose contour. Oh well, I'm trying to do a big transformation, so gotta snatch the nose, you know. For highlight, I know got a lot of makeup on. I'm gonna mix Mega Honey and Mega Lightning by Makeup Obsession, which is technically not Makeup Revolution, but it kind of is, but you know what I mean. Mega Honey is just like a pinch too dark for me, but Mega Lightning is quite a bit too light for me. So hopefully if I mix them, it'll be fine. you're new here, I'm sure you've realised I don't do natural. Just want the mood to be right, keeping the low in the night, yeah. So long. I'm gonna use this Jordana blush just because I never reach for it. This is number 18 touch of pink and it's very very pretty. It's more like a peach, like an almost true peach, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I think that's way better now I've got a bit of blush on. I love blush. Why don't people use blush more? I think it is just so nice. And then just a pinch of Morphe, whatever it's called, just because it is technically drugstore and I really need some moisture because I've put so much on my face. Honestly, that is just the nicest spray. Right, I'm gonna go finish this eye off camera and then we'll come back and copy it on this eye because I don't know what I'm doing yet. So give me one moment and I'll be back. Probably about an hour in real life. See you in a moment. <laughs> yeah, I've been gone about 45 minutes. That's how long these things take me. Um, I am a slow mover. So, under eye. The, the black one, what's it? No tea, no shade. This is a tiny little Morphe pencil brush. It doesn't have a name because it came as part of a set. My, my apologies. That's just going on the very outer corner. Ooh, let me put my eyeliner on. Barry M Bold Waterproof. This is one of the best black like coal pencils in the world is it a coal pencil i don't know i just it's just a pencil eyeliner but it is honestly incredible it's so creamy so black like effortlessly black lovely lovely okay same morphe brush um and Hey guys from the palette. Just gonna plonk that right beside this one. All the way in the middle. I really need to try and make my eyes match for once. And then Porky, same brush. This is going at the front. It's gonna get mostly covered up anyway. More of Hey Guys, that middle shade. Um, and then taking this like just rounded kind of brush. This is the blank canvas E85. I really wish those birds would just shut up. And I'm gonna take Porky. And mix it a little bit more literally it's like on the tip of the brush and then i'm gonna pull this out just so that it's further than the brow and also kind of run it along underneath just so everything looks more blended and not like i've just like done a really sharp line it's just more to be blended I do like that sharp line but not today um I think that's it 
Right, now because I have to do something sparkly, because this is so matte, um, I'm going in with this Technic, the Glitz, which is gold. I'm just going to pop this on my inner corner using a tiny little, again, unnamed Morphe brush. I'm just using a really little amount. It's, I don't want it to overpower it. And I do want to have a matte black smoky eye. And the lash I'm going to put on is Pinky Goat. I don't think that's the name of that. I mean, that could be it. It could be S-A-J-A. -A. I'm not sure. I thought this was a different one, to be honest. Quite big, quite dramatic. And then we'll put on lipstick. Just went in with a sleek eh, NYX lip liner in Cape Town. And now I'm gonna use a eh, Rimmel Latte to go. I think I'll probably put something on top of this, but this will be my initial one. I did end up putting two highlighters on, didn't I? Now I'm going to put two lipsticks on. I'll really mess with you and use two setting sprays. And you know what? I actually think that's light enough on its own. I don't feel like I need to lighten it. Um, so, let's put our last setting spray on. L'Oreal. Um, illuminating setting spray, it's really good. Give it a shake. Throw it on. It's got a lovely mist on it and it's lovely and illuminating as well as you might imagine. Bad bottle design though, mine always seems to leak. Well, to finish off this uh, catfish transformation, I better go do my hair. Throw in some earrings and come back. You've already seen me, because I should have done an intro without having any makeup on. A bit anticlimactic, sorry. Okay, it ruins it that I didn't brush my hair, but I mean, I kind of achieved what I put makeup on and that's the most I've achieved in days, so I'm actually feeling pretty happy. But yeah, look, I've got makeup on. There we go. Obviously no hair skills today. Any day, but today especially. I'm pretty, pretty happy. I'm not actually like way happy, but I'm pretty happy because it's not the worst black smokey I have done. I've done many a bad one. Um, many attempts that have been wiped off. But I think this is all right. Um, We'll forget about the skin apart from the products I use were good, but the, the application, the technique, the colour choices maybe weren't so good. But I think overall everything has kind of worked out. I'm getting hot ears because I, red ears because I'm getting hot as I speak. See how red that one is. So on that note, I'm going to go and have a lunch break and prepare for my next video, which is a long one. And, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, even a pity thumbs up, that'd be nice. Um, leave me a comment down below because I do reply to them all. But if you're mean, I'll just block you. And uh, subscribe, because it's the polite thing to do. A massive thank you as well to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for choosing to support me in a financial manner. It still boggles the old mind, you know? I say it every time, but it really is true. And as I said before, I've opened up a $1 tier, so if you want to be able to join, the link is down below, and you get access to some 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 extra things, which I think are it's quite fun, especially giveaways. And if you can't or don't want to, or just don't wanna support me on Patreon, please, no pressure, just you watching my videos is a massive support, and I really appreciate it, really, truly, believe me. So, I'm gonna go. And I hope I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.